Uh, ladies and gentlemen vile tunaelekea kumalizia malizia dakika za mwisho katika swala hili ambalo linamkumba aliyekuwa naibu wa rais Regadi Gashawa Kuna mambo machache ambayo ningependa nikukumbushe labda tukielekea kumaliza ya malizia ili uelewe labda baadaye miaka inaokuja uwe katika nafasi ya kuambia watu historia wakati mwingine hata watoto wako siku moja watakuuliza hebu tueleze tunasikia kuna mtu walikuwa anaitwa Gashawa miaka 30 iliyopita na alikuwa yeye ni naibu wa kwanza kutimuliwa uongozini na bunge. Hebu tueleze. So it's good to sometimes it's good to have these basics because it will help you in future to give stories. Ni vizuri kuweka historia ya Kenya. Some of us we could feel we sit with people who can tell us about what used to happen before independence and after independence. I love stories, eh? Kuna kapenguria 6 and a lot of stories behind them so kipata mtu ambaye ako na those details someone who has grasped those details it's really enjoyable and so sweet now the issues are pointed out and i want to make them clear with you wakati gashawa alirudishiwa magari mawili na akarudishiwa maaskari wake Niliona wa Kenya wengi wakiandika kwamba Ruta amejua mahakama itamtetea Gashawa. Hivyo ndivyo watu walisema. I even did a video on this platform and people were telling me in the comment section kaka you are asleep you don't know Ruta has returned vehicles you don't know Ruta has returned security Gashawa is going nowhere and the courts will defend Gashawa. Being a good student of politics I told you a few things number one returning of the vehicles ruto was making sure that the gashawa is safe transport wise first because ruto knew what the courts will say anything can happen and it's blamed on william ruto so ruto did one thing first to make sure gashawa's road safety is guaranteed by giving him two vehicles so that should anything happen in his personal car Ruto can have a ground kusema tulimpatia magari za kiserikali got it number two. Gashawa security was reinstated for surveillance Ruto knew what the courts were going to say today so pay Gashawa security so that they can keep check on him Mali yako, mali anatembea, what is eating to avoid a possible speculation of insecurity on Gashawa. Because mna kumbuka Gashawa akisema if anything happens to me today hold the president responsible. So the president was cutting himself from this blame. Because should anything happen aseme mimi nilimpatia magari ya kiserikali kama alienda kutumia gari lake shauri yake mimi nilimpatia security yake kama ameenda shauri yake so ruto was running away from the blame and that is so intelligent sometimes eh cunning intelligence yani sijui ni ita kuna ukora fulani unaonekana kama ni how do i call it have you ever seen a cunning person who appears intelligent but in real sense this person is cunning <laughs> you come on any part now gasha was gone home after the high court ruled to uphold the senate decision and after refusing to stop kendiki swearing in 
Kaiso Kinandewa, lawyers Ali Turigji, running some drama in court. But finally, the, the High Court pronounced itself again after the lawyers invited the judges to give an injunction, a one-week injunction, um, a one-week injunction that is set to block uh, Gashawa's uh, swearing in. But then, the High Court declined to suspend the orders, allowing swearing in of Professor Kindiki. Judge Ogola Murima and Mugambi says, appeal court ceased of the matter. Ladies and gentlemen, Gasha wa hache drama mingi. It's, his case was so, I wish he could have listened to those people who told him to resign. At least he could have salvaged his career. Tulimambia Gasha wa, the best thing you can do, just resign so that you salvage your career, you salvage your security, you salvage your allowances, you salvage your dignity. He refused and said as a man, I want to fight to the bitter end. Now the bitter end is, Gashawa goes home lonely. Gashawa goes home just like he was never deputy president because he loses so many benefits after this impeachment has been upheld. He loses so many things. So many things. If he could have resigned, he could have at least retained them. But kwa sababu, Lawyers walitaka pia kukula, you know, you know, lawyers are also in business. I've come to understand, you may think that your lawyer is helping you, kumbe huyu mtu wameona pesa yako. Na anaona ikesi unende kushindwa kabisa. But because he wants money, anagambia let's try. E, mimi niliona, kama mimi kaka, just a layman. Eh, mimi, a layman. Niliona kasha ugulus. Sembuse kinandewa. Sembuse kina haminwa, sini yu ni amino, yu sini ya kanzo yu mzee zaidi. Kina, kina, kina Paul Mwite, sini ya kanzo. Kama mimi kara, just, just a normal citizen, niliona Gashawa is losing. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, now that Gashawa is gone, let's back on serious business. Number one, tuambiwe, sasa turudi kwa real issues like Adani, real issues like Shah, real issues like... Uh, Na nimesikia Kenya Power has made 40, 40 billion profits and we want Adani to come and invest in any bill. Ubi which did Nani aliroga hili taifa la Kenya lakini. But anyway, we shall talk that as from tomorrow and as from other videos. But for now, we are driving the last nail on Gashawa's impeachment coffin. God bless you ladies and gentlemen. If you're watching this video, kindly make sure you click the subscribe button and remember to turn on your notification bell. God bless you. Asanteni sana. See you in the next episode.